Potential kinetic. What are you doing? Potential kinetic. Potential kinetic. Potential. Mm -hmm. Potential. Okay. Kinetic. <laughs> now what did you do that for? <laughs> That's energy. Okay. The two basic kinds. I see. By the way, this is a supplemental instruction series of videos for Chemistry 121. I'm Joey Smoky. And I'm Kevin Martin. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the two main kinds of energy. So, earlier you were dropping these pens. Yes. So what was that all about? Okay, so, there's two kinds of energy. The first one is potential energy. Okay. Which is basically energy at rest. means that, you know, if something's stationary, for example, I'll pick up my pens again, if you have something like a pen just sitting like this, mm -hmm. it's not doing anything. It's not right. moving, it's just sitting there. So, but it has the potential to fall. I see. Okay? So therefore it has potential energy. Uh -huh. Okay? When you drop it, like that, mm -hmm. it's transformed into kinetic energy, which is uh. basically energy in motion. Okay. Energy is defined as the ability to do work. Okay, which basically means that you've got energy to do stuff. So that's the whole reason why you eat in the morning. Oh, have okay. breakfast. So like the food would be kind of like potential energy. Precisely. Like, you know, and then you move and then it's kinetic. Exactly. That's what all it is. So, all right. And remember the first law of thermodynamics. Conservation of energy mm -hmm. states... Yeah, matter cannot be created or destroyed. I guess the same goes for energy. Precisely. Same thing. So that means it just be transferred from one form to another. Exactly. It went from basically food into you being able to go out for your morning jog. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that's how energy Makes works. Sense. Now, it remind, kind of reminds me, the whole potential and kinetic thing, kind of reminds me of like the old game Red Light, Green Light. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, stop, you know, red light, you, you basically have potential energy because mm -hmm. you're not moving, but yeah. green light, it's kinetic energy because you are moving. Exactly. That's a great analogy. I like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, yeah. that's potential and kinetic. Like, mm -hmm. so, make sense? Yeah. Now, there's another kind of energy. Oh, really? Heat. Oh, heat. So ah. that's a kind of energy. Yes, it is. Huh. Absolutely. Because, I mean, obviously, we have a body temperature. What is it, 98.6 or something like that? Yeah, or 37 degrees Celsius. Yeah, exactly. So, and basically, you know, the heat comes from you eating the food. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. When you have muscle contractions, you know, like when you do your exercise jog or whatever, your body is only 30% efficient. Only 30% efficient. Exactly. So that means that the food you eat, only 30% actually goes to your body functions, like breathing and muscle contractions. So, wow, that seems, you know, pretty wasteful. Where does the rest of it go? Heat. Ah. Oh. It's all lost as heat. Hmm. That's what but now that you think about it, if our bodies were 100% efficient, we wouldn't have to eat as much. Exactly. We would probably eat maybe once every year. <laughs> wow. So, well, yeah, probably like, not that little. Probably like, you know, only like a thousand calories a day. Yeah, okay. something like that. So, but yeah, so that's what heat is. It's basically just energy that you know, didn't get used for kinetic energy, and so it got transformed into that. Okay. And also, remember, there's dynamite. And what does dynamite do? Boom! Dynamite! Exactly. Dynamite, you know, it makes sound, mm -hmm. and it makes heat, mm -hmm. and it makes light. Right. All three of those are energy, obviously. Uh, okay, so like, you know, it, there's the energy that actually made it go boom, and then mm -hmm. it went into making the light, the heat, and the sound. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So that's the whole thing of what it is, you know, matter can't be created or destroyed, energy cannot be created or destroyed. So basically the dynamite, it was sitting there, it uh -huh. was potential, you lit it, it went, boom! Mm -hmm. Dynamite! Mm -hmm. It went boom, 
and then you transform it into kinetic energy, you know, where the pieces go flying off all, all directions. Right. And it goes into different forms of kinetic energy, like, you know, sound, you know, making sound waves through the air, the light, which you see from the explosion, um, and then obviously heat, which if you were close to it, which would be a bad idea, you'd probably <laughs> feel it being kind of hot. Yeah. So I suppose in that way, since the energy went into so many things, it wasn't really lost, it was conserved, it just went into all these different forms. Right, exactly. Okay. Yep. Thermodynamics like a, is awesome. Yeah, energy is kind of like a chameleon that way. <laughs> it is. So, I'm sound, I'm heat, I'm light. <laughs> kinetic potential. Exactly. All right. I'm going to go make some kinetic energy happen and walk off the camera. All right, well, I'm going to go get some potential energy. Sounds good. Bye.